Hey everyone, my name is Kenzie Akins. I'm a certified personal trainer, certified corrective exercise specialist. I have my bachelor's in kinesiology with an emphasis on rehabilitation science, and I am also a certified COTSI specialist. Today, we're gonna go over just some basic exercises that you can do with your COTSI bands anywhere, whether you're home, at work, or on the go. Today, I am going to be using our C4 model, which has these tubes that connect to the compressor itself. You can also do these exercises though with our B2 model, which is tubeless and connects to your phone and you can operate it using the Bluetooth. Today's exercises are going to be for those who are just getting started with Kotsu and just getting started with exercising in general, or if you have taken a pretty long break between consistently exercising and we're just getting back into things. For today, we are going to be using our device in cycle mode and on low pressure. For this, you're gonna to wanna to set it for about three to six sets, just so it lasts the duration of your workout. While we're in cycle mode, the bands are gonna inflate for 30 seconds and deflate for five seconds. When you're using them during a workout, you can still, and I recommend, actually continuing your reps and your sets, no matter if the bands are inflating or deflating, you do not have to stop your workout. If the bands are deflating, you are still gonna get great results. With the cycle starting, we are gonna just warm up with some of the most basic three-point exercises. The first is going to be hand clunches. You can do these sitting or standing. Today I'm gonna to do them standing and I'm just going to alternate squeezing my hands and then slowly releasing. This will allow our body to warm up a little bit and starting with these smaller muscles and then working toward our bigger muscles. You're gonna squeeze both hands 10 times. Next we are gonna start with bicep curls. We are gonna start with no weight. We're gonna focus on our mind muscle connection, slowly squeezing that bicep muscle, giving it a good squeeze at the top, and then slowly releasing to come down. And for this one, again, we're gonna just do 10 reps, nice and easy. And lastly, we're gonna do tricep extensions. So we're gonna stand, we're just gonna slowly straighten our arms, giving that tricep muscle on the back of our arm a real good squeeze, and then slowly releasing and then going back down. I'm gonna give you guys a side view so you can see what it looks like. Going down, good squeeze, slowly releasing. Down, good squeeze, slowly releasing. Now that we're warmed up, let's get into our workout. For all of these exercises today, we're gonna to start off with three sets at 10 reps. As you continue to get more comfortable with using your device and your body adapts to the exercises, you're more than welcome to increase your sets and your reps. If you can't do 10 reps, just do as many as you can. We're gonna start with some nice, easy neck rotations. For this, we're gonna do five going clockwise and then five counterclockwise. That will give you your 10 reps in our first set. We're gonna focus on drawing a really big circle with our chin. Nice deep breaths, letting those shoulders relax and drop down. Next, we're going to do some shoulder rolls. It's gonna be very similar to the neck rotations. We're gonna do five going backwards and then five going forwards for our first set of 10. And again, nice, easy breaths, really pushing those shoulders through their full range of motion for five. And now we're gonna go the other way. Next, we're gonna start with some nice and easy stretches for our triceps and our delts. For the tricep, we're just gonna take one arm, put it behind so our hand is right behind our neck. Our next hand comes around. It's helpful to get a little bit of a lift up. Gently pull. Once you feel like it's a light stretch, we're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. Then we're gonna come down. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Bringing that arm up, our other arm comes to help us out, pulling up slightly and bringing it in. Now to stretch our rear delt head, which is the muscle right in the back of our shoulder, we're gonna stick one arm out at about a 45 degree angle, 
The other one's gonna come under and hook. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna gently pull out and rotate so we feel a light stretch. If you really want a good delt stretch for this one, think about dropping that shoulder once it's across your body. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Arm at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna hook around, slight pull, bring it over, and then dropping that shoulder. Always when you guys are doing this, make sure to take nice deep breaths, let that body relax. Now we're going to stretch our forearms. We can do this one of two ways. The first is just doing some wrist curls. So my arms are gonna be out kind of like Frankenstein. I'm just gonna bring them in and then bringing those hands up, down, and up. If you guys want a deeper stretch on this, you will grab your fingertips of the arm being stretched. Same thing, we're gonna pull up and over in an arc, taking a nice deep breath through that. Then we're gonna take our thumb, tuck it under, make a small fist. We're gonna bring it forward and come under. And always remember whenever we are stretching the body, we always wanna make sure that we're taking a holistic approach and doing both sides at the same time. Next, we are gonna do some dynamic bicep curls. Today, we're just gonna use some coconut waters for our weights. If you are just starting off with this, you do not have to use any weight at all. I've been doing this for a little while, so we're gonna increase the intensity a little bit. We're gonna take the same approach as we did with our three-point bicep exercises as well. We're just gonna slowly focus on tensing that bicep muscle, curling all the way up, getting a nice squeeze, and slowly controlling, letting that weight bring us down. And again, we're gonna do 10 reps, nice and easy, really focusing on our mind-muscle connection. Next, we are going to do wringing out the washcloth. Your washcloth does not have to be wet in order for this to be an effective exercise, but we're gonna pretend that it is. So I'm going to rotate my wrist opposite directions, squeeze, and then switch, squeeze, giving those wrists a nice gentle warm up and making sure that we're getting all of that blood flow into our extremities. Now we are gonna start with our basic three point exercises for our lower body to get us nice and warmed up. A few important things to note when we are using our leg bands one, I want to make sure that I do not inflate my leg bands before sitting down. I am also sitting on the very edge of my seat so that no external pressure is being applied to the air bladder, which will reduce our, our chances of these popping. So just so you guys can see, this is a side view, the edge of the seat. I'm just sitting right on it. We are going to start with some toe curls. So for these, we're just basically focusing on the muscles in our feet. Again, working on our small muscles before we eventually work up to using larger muscles. For this, I always like to think of as if I'm trying to pull myself forward while sitting in the chair. So I'm going to just squeeze my toes and then slowly release. Same thing, we're working on that mind-muscle connection, just really focusing on those foot muscles and we're gonna do 10 reps. Here is a side view of the toe curls. Next, we are going to do toe raises. So for these, my feet are gonna be flat on the floor and I'm gonna focus mostly on my big toe. The other ones will kind of follow with that. I'm gonna raise my toes as high as I can and then slowly bring them down. Many of you might actually feel this exercise in the front of our shin. And that's because we are utilizing our anterior tibialis for this. And it's a great exercise, especially if you are a runner. Here is a side view of the toe raises. The last one, we are going to do some seated heel raises. So these are essentially just a calf raise, but I'm gonna really focus on pushing into the ball of my foot really giving those calves a nice good squeeze and slowly bringing it down. Focusing on that mind-muscle connection, coming up and slowly back down. Again, four 10 reps. And here is a side view of the heel raises.
Next, we are going to start our workout. So we are gonna start this with some leg extensions. These are really great for our quad muscles as well as our patellar tendon in our knee to help get us nice bulletproof knees. If you need for balance, feel free to hang on to the back of your chair and you are just going to alternate extending that leg, squeezing that quad, slowly bringing it back down. We are going to alternate. So for this, we are going to do five on each leg for a total of 10 reps. Next, we are going to do some standing leg curls. These are really great for targeting our hamstrings as well as our ligaments in the back of our knee. If you want, you can use a chair for support. And we're just going to slowly alternate, bringing that heel all the way up as high as we can, giving that hamstring a nice squeeze, and then coming back down. If you want to challenge your stability and balance a little bit more, you can do it without any hands. Next, we are going to do a chair-assisted squat. So for this, our goal, feet are gonna be a little bit hip width apart. If you have really tight hips, you might consider turning your toes outward to allow for more hip flexion. And I'm just going to keep my core tight, slowly lowering down until I hit that chair, squeezing those glutes and those quad muscles to come right back up. Nice and slow on the way down and right back up for a total of 10 reps. Next, we are going to use some chair assisted ankle rotations. These are very similar to the neck rotations that we did for upper body. I'm gonna take one ankle at a time, stick that foot out. We're gonna do five counterclockwise and then five clockwise. That is gonna give us 10. You're gonna do 10 on each side to keep our body nice and even. For our last one, we are going to do some glute bridges. These are especially beneficial for any desk worker or someone who spends a lot of time sitting during a, throughout their day. I'm just gonna come here, lay down nice and easy, bringing my heels a little bit closer to my glutes. I'm gonna dig into my heels, driving, squeezing those glutes, coming to a full hip extension. Nice squeeze slowly lowering ourselves down. And again, we're gonna do 10 reps all the way up. Nice big squeeze and coming back down. If you need a little bit more stability while doing this, take your hands, place them flat on the ground, and then they kind of act like the legs of a tripod. I hope you guys found this video useful. Remember, especially when we're starting off, we're always gonna start with low pressure on cycle mode, listening to your body and doing what it can do. As you continue in this and your body starts to adapt and progress, feel free to challenge yourself a little bit more. We are gonna show more advanced exercises that you can do for both upper and lower body in our next video.